When will we see Mario Kart 9? Will it be at this year's E3 or will we have to wait a little while yet? I chose to explore this topic because although we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe already on Switch, that game was developed for the Wii U, which makes Mario Kart the biggest Nintendo series not yet to have a game developed specifically for the Switch. In today's video, I'm going to speculate about whether a new Mario Kart is on the horizon, whether if so it could be announced at E3 2019, and when might we actually get our hands on it to play. For the sake of this video, I'm going to work on the presumption the game will be Mario Kart 9, although it could obviously have a different title such as Mario Kart Switch, or a different formula altogether with perhaps a Nintendo Kart. That's a discussion for another day though. So to begin with, let's talk about the possibility of a new Mario Kart coming relatively soon. One of the biggest reasons to expect a new Mario Kart soon is because of the sheer length of time it's been since we got the last one. Mario Kart has consistently been a good seller for Nintendo, and they've been released relatively frequently as a result. Since Super Mario Kart released back in 1992 on the SNES, there's been a purpose-built Mario Kart on every major Nintendo home console, coming on average around 5-6 to six years after each other. Why is this important? Well, Mario Kart 8 originally came out for the Wii U in May 2014, which makes it over 5 years old right now, and it's now heading for its 6th birthday next year. The pattern suggests that although 8 Deluxe may complicate this, Mario Kart 9 is on its way, and we will probably know about it within the next 12 months. The second reason to expect a new Mario Kart lies in the success of the series. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the best selling game on the Switch over the console's lifetime as things stand, which demonstrates how Mario Kart is still as silly popular and current as ever. Additionally, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has already been sold to so many people who own the Switch, which begs the question, how long can it keep up those high sales figures for? The vast majority of people will only buy the game once. So what can we take from what we've established about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe selling so well already on Switch? Well, basically, Mario Kart 9 would probably sell really, really well, just as 8 Deluxe has, and if Nintendo want to retain such high sales figures that the series is currently experiencing, the company is more than likely going to have to release a sequel in the next 12 months or so. Consequently, from these facts, I think we can say that there's a very, very good chance that we'll get a new Mario Kart in 2020. So with this in mind, when should we expect an announcement? Could we get one at this year's E3, perhaps? or will we have to wait a little longer? We'll start off by discussing the plausibility of an announcement at this year's E3, which is just a few days away as of writing this. The one nagging feeling I have that suggests a possible announcement to E3 is plausible, maybe even if it is just a very brief teaser at the end of the Direct, is that I'm not sure how many likely alternatives there are, considering I expect Nintendo to try and make some form of impact this year. I'm hoping we'll see Pikmin 4 and maybe some absolute shock announcement nobody saw coming, but what else is plausible right now that could be considered a sort of big hitter? I really don't expect to see a new 3D Mario or Breath of the Wild sequel until next year at the earliest, and we got Smash last year. For some reason, that keeps bugging me. However, on this occasion, my head just has to rule over my heart. Because I expect Mario Kart 9 in 2020, I just can't see Nintendo announcing it at E3 2019. As we discussed earlier, Mario Kart 8 is continuing to sell reasonably well as of now, so why announce that its successor is on its way, likely 8-9 to nine months before it releases at the earliest? If Nintendo do this, consumers will increasingly begin to save their money for the sequel, rather than buy the current version in the run up to the holidays, so it makes no business sense to me. The end might be in sight for 8 Deluxe, but right now, I still think it's got more to give, so I can't see an announcement at E3 2019. So with this in mind, when can we expect an announcement? My prediction would be in the first major Direct of 2020, and followed by a release between April and July of next year. Possibly not too long after E3 2020, similar to where Super Mario Maker 2 is right now. I say this because an announcement in early 2020 and release not so long after would allow for Nintendo to maximise sales of 8 Deluxe for the remainder of this year and through that all important holiday period and a big gap between announcement and release is just not necessary or desirable for the next Mario Kart. The franchise is already proven on the console so will likely not require a crazy amount of hyping up 
And if you're going to effectively bring an end to 8 Deluxe by announcing its successor, you don't want it hanging around too long as a lame duck because it might start to smell. Oh, hang on, no, no, video games can't smell. I'm, I'm getting confused again. So to recap, Mario Kart 9 or whatever form it will be in will probably be released in 2020. I don't expect an announcement about it at E3 2019, but instead I expect an early 2020 announcement and a mid 2020 release, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, there's my predictions, but when do you think we'll see Mario Kart 9 and what shape will it take? Will it be some kind of bizarre Nintendo Kart that will make some fans scream with rage? let me know down in the comments. If you have enjoyed today, please do share this with a friend, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for lots more Nintendo and gaming content. Thank you for your time today and I hope to see you in another video soon.